hope you're all doing okay. So I thought I'd film a video today because I went um, antique shopping over the weekend and I also went to some charity shops and also I went to a blooming good yard sale. Um, it was quite local to me uh, in aid of a church and all these houses in this lovely village were doing a yard sale and I got Oh, let me tell you, I just got some amazing bits. So I wanted to show you what I got. So we'll start with the we'll start with the yard sale first. So the first gentleman that I went to, uh, he, oh my word, his house was called something Hall, and you can imagine it was right up my street. It was huge. It was like the most beautiful stately home. It looked like with a tennis court. Oh, it was amazing. So he had some nice bits, including these uh, frames. Let me grab the other one. Um, and he had two of these. And I sort of asked how much. And he said a couple of pounds for them both, which is amazing. So they just look, hello. <laughs> so they just look like that. And they're like botanical prints. Um, they look like the ones from Oka, which... I love but I'm not spending that because they're expensive so they just look like that that's one of them so yeah I bought these for tech, like one pounds each basically um and they're so pretty I also bought a slightly different one um as well from the charity shop but they're just beautiful I've currently got them stacked on my shelf uh, or shelves I should say um and they go really nicely so one pound each for those I was well happy and then Ty spotted these, which they're really quite heavy. These are also on the sh same shelves as those pictures. They're bronze. I don't think they're real, obviously not real bronze, but um, they're like quite heavy bronze style, maybe dog statues. And these are so cool. <laughs> We've just got one on either side of the fireplace. Again, like I say, on the same shelves. Um, they're Labradors. Yeah, Labradors. Yeah. They're so pretty. Like I say, they're so heavy as well, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, two of those. So I, I bought those first. And then I also brought these, which are so these, and then also this item. Ah! <laughs> I'll take the candlestick out. Um, it's quite light. It's just this like gold um candlestick, candelabra type thing. Um, I'm just trying to think, it looked like a pineapple, but it doesn't look like a pineapple now, it looks more like a radish with leaves, I don't know, I don't know what it's meant to be, but it's so nice, and like I say, I've just got my little candlestick in here, oh, can't keep it straight, but um, yeah, he wanted £10 for these, the, the statues and this, and also, I haven't got it here to show you, because Ty's put it away, but um, we got a brand new, it was called like a luxury blow up bed, a double one with a pump. So I managed to get all of this for £12, um, which is amazing really. So I just love it. And this looks so snazzy on the shelves, but you could have that in the middle of a table, couldn't you? Or on your dressing table. But yeah, so £12. And that was the first lemon and saw. I thought, oh crikey, I'm spending too much. I need to calm down. Because £12, like, that's a lot. For me anyway, that's a lot. Um, but I'm so chuffed. I'm so chuffed. So the next store that I went to, I brought this, which, oh, it's quite big and it's quite heavy. So it's this. I saw the frame, first of all, um, and was just, honestly, I was like, wow, that is such a nice frame. And and then I saw the print, and it's like a beach. Well, it actually says stranded vessel off Yarmouth. So obviously we're relatively close to Yarmouth. Ty's nan. Hello, Vaughn, if you're watching, you probably are. Um, lives at Yarmouth, and it's a boat that's surprisingly stranded. There we go. Um, and yeah, it's a pr it's a really nice print actually. Quite dark, moody colours, which I quite like. Don't know anything too crackers, but um. I just love this frame. It's a real chunky frame, all nice and gold, beautiful. And I'm just trying to add a few more bits uh, into the house 
that look like this, you know, with the gold. Oh, bougie, bougie. Look at that, look, isn't that beautiful? So I said, to, I asked the lady actually, you know, how much is that please? She said five quid, a fiver, you can't go wrong. So obviously I had to have it and Ty was like, what are you buying? And I said, look at this beautiful item. And even he was like, bloody hell, that's lush. So um, for five pounds, you can't go wrong. Next house we went on to, um, oh, it was another beautiful house. And they had some really nice bits for sale, including a load of games. Now. Me and Ty quite like a game, especially an old game. So he picked up these. Now I've never played these before. Um, I don't know how old they are. I mean, they said they were old. So if anyone's ever played any of them, let me know how they work and if they're good. So I've got this one called Cop It. All the bits are there and they even smell really old. It's so cute. And they, do you know what? It was like a couple of uh, old, couples so it's like a man and a wife and they must have been in their like 80s and then another man and wife and they were so chuffed that we were looking so this is the first one that we got it's just gnomes um i'm not saying i've never played it we still haven't played them yet but hopefully they'll be good and then we got mousy mousy it just looks like that um i don't know what you do with this Oh, I think it's like a mini version of Mouse Trap, uh, which I did have when I was younger. And then this, which, oh, it's amazing. I know it's probably a little bit strange because we don't have children or anything, but, you know, eventually when we have children, we would like them to sort of play with older games. And I used to call this a xylophone or something when I was younger, but this is called a pixie phone and it's, it's so old, I just can't believe it. It needs a bloody good clean, let me tell you. But look at that, and it's obviously beautiful, quite heavy, solid wood. Oh, I hit the wood. Oh, how nice. How nice. Um, and yeah, like I said, the people were just so nice. And they were so happy that we were looking. So um, we managed to get these, plus one, it's a newer thing. Um... And if you're my sort of age, early 20s, you'll remember, I mean, these are about now, but I mean, especially when I was young, these were, these were big. Good old hammer beads. I can't believe it. I saw them and I was like, oh my God. Because I, I did actually have to ask my mum if I had these when I was little. She was like, yeah, of course you did. But I remember doing them, but that, I mean, I mean, I'm going on a little bit of a, talking about something else but basically I love old toys that I used to have when I was younger so I'm, I asked my mum for Christmas a few years ago if she could get me like the sequin art because I that was a bit of me that was oh my god when I was like eight nine that was you hit the nail on the head there if anybody bought me that so I got those and I thought I'd buy myself some hammer beads it's brand new still in its wrapping um and it's like the set as well where it comes with a frog a butterfly I think there's a fish a flower there's all sorts but i haven't started it yet because i think that's going to keep me entertained for hours i said to my mum i'm going to make a one pretend i'm seven again but um yeah so i managed to get all of those toys for five pounds i was debating giving this away but my mum said she thinks it's a little bit old for my stepsister my stepsister's like 12 um i'm 22 so you know whatever <laughs> So that's what we got. The other thing that we got from those people, I can't pick up to show you. So I'm going to try and film it, uh, maybe put it in now, I, I, if I can work that out, I'm not sure, but it's basically uh, a fire guard. Now <clears throat> we have a log burner, which I know is a little bit like, oh, you tend to have them with open fires. However, they're lovely. And this one is, oh my gosh, so beautiful. It's like a brassy colour. Uh, more like a bronze on the bottom that meshes bronze and then it has a, a brass bit around the top you'll see it i'll show you um and it is it fits around our fireplace like a glove on a chicken's lip really it does and it was five pounds the woman the the lady said five pounds so i mean obviously we had to try it but it was so heavy we had to go back and get it bless them because i just couldn't lift it but um five pounds and it's it just really sets the room off nicely which i'm so happy with so five pound that is another bargain
the next gentleman that we went to had some nice plates. It, I don't know whether he had like a catering business because he had like a load of like plates, dishes, knives, forks, all sorts really. But he had these lovely plates. So they look like this. I'll show it you a little bit closer. Just like that. Really simple, but I quite like the stripes and then the dots all the way around. <clears throat> he had loads, but he was doing a deal, four for one pound. Well, I don't need any more plates, um, but I got eight because it's always nice just to have a bit of variety, isn't it? And I've got the cupboard space now to have a little bit more. So um, they're from the home store, which I know and I've seen that. Is that like, I don't know. I think, I don't think it's like particularly expensive, but um, yeah. And then he also had these, oh, crumbs, crumb, these large dishes. The first thing Ty said to me was that's a good roast dinner plate. So Yorkies, meat, veggies, gravy, cauliflower, cheese over here. And he's quite right, to be honest. Um, these were one pound each. So we got four of these and the gentleman done us a deal. So I got four of these and eight of those plates for five pounds, which you just can't go wrong, can you? And they're literally, they're, they're new. Um, well, they're not new, but you know what I mean. They're, they're in good condition anyway. Uh, dishwasher safe as well they've all been through the dishwasher so excellent can't wait to use those and i also thought for barbecues you know put your bread your bread rolls on here and then another one i can have on my meat my this will do just for halloumi because i would eat that much halloumi best believe so i then went to a charity shop where i got another dish because i can't stop buying dishes but this is the most beautiful dish I think I've ever seen. It's by Burlington. This was three pounds. And I loved the blue floral uh, sort of china pattern around the edge. Now, my nanny used to have a load of plates that were like blue, like china, blue and white china. And it always reminds me of her whenever I see it. So I definitely thought I'm gonna have to pick that up for three pounds. Again, same as the other one really, just for um, serving, serving platter. I mean, what else do you use it for? But for three pounds, I thought that was good. I then brought this. Now that I've still left the tag on this, this was 125 and it's a plant pot. Um, it's a bit rustic, but I love it. I thought it looked like the ones that you would get out of like Neptune or Ochre or something. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, you, I, I was thinking about growing herbs in here. They did have another one, so I might go back and get it. But for 125, it's a really nice size and you can have whatever you can put your makeup brushes or your pen it might be a little bit tall for pens but um if you've got you know utensils and things like that they'll do so that was 125 it's a bit dusty though i must say the last thing i got from the charity shop was this ah, i am going to change the frame because it's a little bit modern for me i think it might look nice in one of the gold ones so you know like the ones i showed you earlier or a nice wooden one but it is this print how beautiful is that? I saw it and I thought, wow, that's nice. Um, I just love the colours. It's beautiful. And this was £4.50, which is slightly more expensive, but I just think it's so beautiful. And you get the frame too. So I was quite happy to pay four fifty for that. So that's just going to be hung. Maybe in my kitchen I might hang that. I think that would look nice. Add a little bit of colour. And then last but not least, I went to a an antique shop this morning i thought had a bit of time to kill let's just go in and have a look and i found the most beautiful bowl look at that have you ever seen anything more beautiful in your life it's like all pastel pinks blues creams greens i just think it's so nice i'm throwing a bit of a, a surprise party tomorrow for ty's birthday so i'm gonna vlog tomorrow um but I've got Ty's family and my family coming over for some, I'm just gonna do like nibbles, like nuts, crisps, pizza, nuggets, that sort of thing. So I thought this would be ideal just to serve some little nibbles in. And that was three pounds 50. So that was very good. My last two items that I've got to show you are from a, a boot sale that I went to on Sunday morning. It wasn't that great. We got rained off basically. So I only had literally 10 minutes just to quickly run around. But oh, I love this. You can't see, but look, I got a mug with sheep on. 
because why wouldn't you buy it? Oh my word, I saw it and I was like, I love that. And Ty was laughing, he's like, are you joking me? I was like, no, no, I'm not, look at that. So cute. Um, the lady wanted 30p for this. So obviously I wasn't gonna leave it there for 30p. I love it. And then the last thing that I got from the boot sale, I'm gonna have to say, Alyssa, if you're watching this, stop watching it now, okay? Because I bought you something for Chris. I know I bought you it for Christmas, basically. Um, we're, I'm well aware we're only in August, very, like, just in August. But you can never be too organised. So I basically bought this, if you can see. Now, it's from Bloom, which there is a florist called Bloom on, like, Instagram. Who is, they do the most beautiful flowers, but they're really expensive. Um, the lady wanted one pound for this. I don't know whether you can see. It's in the shape of an A, and it's on like uh, like moss. You you might just be able to see me. Yeah, I don't think you will. But um, it's like bits of a hydrangea, faux hydrangea, stuck, and it's got a little hanging bit. So it's just like initial that's um floral basically. And it was one pound, and I thought, how nice is that? Just as a little stock and filler for a pound at Christmas. You can't go wrong. So I brought that. So that's everything I believe I've got to show you. Um, yeah, there's nothing else, there's nothing else. So I hope you've all had a good day and you've had a good weekend and you're gonna have a good week. I know you are. So yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna vlog this week. I've got this week off. So I'm gonna vlog tomorrow for Ty's birthday. We're gonna go out with some breakfast, Shh, surprise. Um, and then we've got the family coming over and I can show them all my new dishes. They can eat nuts out of my bowl. What a treat for them. So yeah, I hope you've all had a good day. And I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, are you having fun? No, no, so, we're at our little church village sale. And Ty's got the map. And we're going charity. No, we're not. Boot sailing. Yeah, yard sailing. Woohoo.